So let's talk about March Madness, but we're doing March Madness okay. Culture Wars. Uh-oh. So pick your fighters Okay. in this March Madness. If you're listening Ooh. as a podcast, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players here. Eight contestants, eight teams. Okay. We got... Um, the overweight Eminem. We've got M- <laughs> wow. We've got a Eminem in combat boots. So the most unfuckable Eminem. I mean, guys, okay. so, I love that they put the overweight Eminem. <laughs> so everyone just imagine an Eminem. You guys already know how Eminems are hot, right? You guys already know that when you like get a bag of Eminems, you're like, I don't know whether to eat you or fuck you. That's yes. clear. Yes. Um, now do that, but then imagine Eminem in combat boots, and suddenly yeah. you don't even want to eat it anymore. Right. Okay. So Eminem versus Critical Race Theory. Okay. We have Disney, just general woke Disney versus um, gas stove over versus electric stoves. Electric stoves. That's the one obviously. thing that does get me upset. Everyone got mad at me about that. I was like, <laughs> no fucking way. No <laughs> one's taking. I don't kid. Kids get fucking asthma. I, I don't give a and it, first it was a fake story. It was all like invented. Right, like, right. Anyone who cooks knows that there's no fucking way in the world that cooking with electric is like good. Or I useful. grew up. I grew up with electric stove. It worked okay, but now that I have a kid, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. no. I don't, I don't, I don't want. It's like uh, no, but but Anthony, it's like forty percent more. My husband's the same way. He's like, we're not getting rid of this stove. I'm like, it's a forty percent increased chance that you'll get childhood who cares? asthma. Who cares? I don't care. I don't give a shit. Here's the point. Do I want my food to taste good or do I want to cook on an electric? Listen, it's going to taste the same. It's, no, it's no, it's not. There are so <laughs> many things you can't do with an electric and people go, oh, well, you should try the contact ones. Oh, you mean so I have to get their pans with the like weird fat bottoms on the pans? No, people have been cooking on fire for the longest of everything. They've been cooking on fire, and that's how it works. It is the one right wing thing I am totally down with. You want to know something weird? With gas, not weird, but uh, <laughs> I did a Nat Geo story about um, why why life expectancy was so low back in like caveman days, and mm. they believe that it is because they were fire. cooking their food on open flames inside but in a small cave. little huts yeah. yeah with like just like inhaling smoke put constantly. the fan on every kitchen has an overhead fan you put the fan on <laughs> and then you cook that's what you're supposed to do and it sucks up all the gas it's fine i, I, I grew right. up around a all gas right. stove. so I'm breathing so fine. clearly based on how triggered anthony is i think the electric I stove has a chance to really win yes. um and then over here the last four teams we have rainbow fentanyl um, <laughs> I thought those were candy, like the competitors. To that's M&Ms. what the Halloween kids. That's what the trick or treaters uh, think too. Um, we have a an Xbox that has a uh, energy saving feature, which will mm. that which the right has freaked out about because Why? it's part of the Green New Deal. Clearly, um, they want you to stop wasting so much energy. We I have love my energy saving Xbox. There you go. A drag queen over here. Oh, yeah. And then 15 minute cities, which I guess was another thing they were upset about, which is the idea that you could access everything you need in 15 minutes and that we should all be living sort of in more. um, Yeah, that makes perfect sense. It would be so great if we could get that 15 minutes. That's what Queens is like. You live in in Astoria, you're 15 minutes away from every possible thing you need. Except for everyone else in all of the tri-state area, because Astoria is in the middle of fucking nowhere. (laughs) Astoria? (laughs) I'm sorry. Some parts of Astoria are so hard to get to. They're like, take a bus. I'm like, um, fuck yourself. Take a bus. Let me tell you something about Queens real quick. Queens, (laughs) one of the most diverse boroughs uh, in New York. And we love it for that reason. More languages spoken in this borough than anywhere else in the world. None of that has anything to do with accessibility. It is the only place (laughs) where the average uh, black family wealth is higher than white family wealth. That's cool. Okay. And in addition, you could take a bus. I took a bus. Uh, I grew up in a very poor neighborhood outside of Boston. I took the 111 bus from Chelsea into Boston. I'm a bus kid. Take the bus. The bus is natural gas. Talk about. It's better than gasoline. So it's we're fighting wars for your 111. Wow. Yeah, 911 <laughs> to 111. I'm taking the bus. All right. I love all of that. First off, I love every single thing there. 
I love CRT's great. I, oh, also, CRT, I we just, missed. And CRT, sorry, Eminem's going up against CRT. So who wins Eminem versus CRT in this uh In, in terms of the, what the right is going to be the most mad about? I think. Or is it, like, in other words, this, what are we voting for? Like just how, who wins? I think, yeah, I think just like in CRT a CRT beats the, CRT beats the Eminem. Really? And okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let's because, move CRT up. Yeah, I mean, we'll I CRT think. up. And I think fentanyl beats the Xbox. I think you're right. Drag queen beats the 15 minute city. For sure. Okay. And then who yeah. beats, is it Disney versus Ga electric stove? I feel like that electric stove tough. might've won. That is so tough. I think electric stove wins because I'm animated about it and I'm as left as they come. I think electric stove wins too. So you've got electric stove versus critical race theory in the final right. four. CRT wins that mm. oh are we not doing that now no or? we can't no no we could so like wait critical race three versus electric stove okay yeah which i mean crt this isn't i mean very few people will be actually exposed to real crt whereas everyone will be exposed to the electric stove yes but nobody but this is like the term the word woke it's like people sure. just invent their own version i mean woke just you know, I guess woke means black sort of, or means any like to, to rate, you know, to people who are using it incorrectly. I think it's just sort of, sort of racist dog whistle. If right? you were in a, if you went, but yes, but if like you had to fight, S. Mandel. You had to, Oh God. If you had to fight someone, Anthony, where would you yeah. rather be equipped with a book about CRT or an electric stove? I'm going to say a book about CRT. Cause I if win I with fight, words. If I had to fight with somebody, well, yes. I mean, the stove, I'd set them on fire. <laughs> I would just light very something slowly, though, and Very slowly. I would burn Bethany Mandel's book and then throw mm. it at them. There we go. Not with an electric stove. But I'm going to say CRT moves forward. Okay, yes. so CRT's in the final. Okay, okay. but Rainbow Fent over here versus Drag Queens. Drag Queen. Drag, drag Queens Queen versus win. CRT. Because that's the platform of the GOP for this coming <laughs> year. But okay, now without the C without Republicans sort of pulling the strings here and oh, their okay. fear. Yeah. I mean, in a this is kind of a wonderful matchup. Like I would love to see critical race theory Versus and scholar like go you like in a fun matchup against drag queens. I think they would just merge. There would be no victor. I think it would just merge into sort of a hypercritical yeah racist drag queen <laughs> not no 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 but no racist they're just yeah. a, it's just, i like it the idea of a, a hypercritical racist drag queen because nobody would know what to do with 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 her they go well uh, you're a drag queen but you're really critical of me and you're also a bigot i don't know what to do <laughs> page that's page, the, the producer says would be like i embrace her yeah, Paige, the producer says that's just intersectional theory, baby. There you this go. Is, that's this is what happens. Intersectional theory. There you go. Um, I mean, I think that ultimately <laughs> they would be against. I mean, drag queens are into competition. Obviously, the drag race. Yes. Um, CRT less so. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, the drag queen wins personally. I mean, you have to choose drag in terms of what's more scary. CRT, I think, probably wins in this bullshit right wing. But in general, who I think could like slay and destroy it's very difficult to be just equipped with like heady you right. know like academics talking about the legal theories behind you know race structural racism and, and which i i love care. all these authors who are being banned are you kidding right. me bell hooks like fuck i could be armed with bell hooks and i think but if we had like a bell hooker like a you know a yes. drag queen named bell hooker like that yes. would be my shit What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.